Good evening. Saturday evening here on a weekend. Yes. Uh, normally, we do the Uranium Flash update. More, not every day, but very often. Uh, I didn't have the chance to do it yesterday. So Saturday it is. And it's good that the market is closed because yesterday, Friday, for Uranium, but I think the entire market were very stressed and especially uranium it was just non-stop selling straight off the bat selling 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 usually you see you know if you look at the five minute during the day you, you get some bounces you know here and there on different board levels this was just non-stop selling for basically until the last hour of trading um i don't know exactly why that is uh i can understand you know Uranium being down 5%, We've, we have seen that before, but the relentless selling, and I did read on Twitter that some major, what, what you call betting firm, whatever, um, unloaded their entire position. That could be the reason. Uh, another reason could be the charts, which we will look into. As always, guys, like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have anything to add, if you disagree, or if you agree, that could be nice. Um, and yeah, we have a member section on YouTube Check it out if that's something for you, where I will put up most of the the more detailed stuff on different stocks within uranium, gold, shipping, silver, you name it. Um, check it out if that is something for you. Okay, the charting. Let's see what happened. What happened during that dreadful day here. So we have URNM, the 100% uranium miners ETF. I should actually put on the watermark. For some reason, that's gone. So what happened? Uh, I want you to focus on that rising red wedge coming up there. That is the bigger one. Then we have this horizontal bad boy here. Uh, the orange one, the golden one at 51.5-ish, uh, a bit above, but we'll call it 51.5. That is the 2021 highs. Very important level. So what happened here? When we came close into that all-time high, we tagged it, tiny pullback, boom, we shut up straight away with a gap right there. As you can see, we came down here in a very, very controlled manner. Beautiful, I love to see that when you break and you come down very nicely. We tagged it, we closed the gap, beautiful, and then we ran again, gapped up here on, I think it was Kassadam Prom um, Q4 results or end of year. Made a gap once again. Basically, a, more or less a double top. We did pierce it quite a bit here. Uh, notice the gap here. We came down beautiful. We tagged it. And, and I was like, nice, here we go. And then we have a mega drop here, which led us into you know a cascading effect until we actually we tagged there the uh, 2021 high. A small dribble, and then we collapsed down here again. And then came, you know... I wouldn't call it a bottom, but I will call it that we have a bit of consolidation here. Uh, that, there are more things that is going on here when we look at this picture here. So let's zoom in here so you can see it if you have it on the mobile. Please remember, you know, the red rising wedge and the horizontal 2021 level here, at roughly 50, 51.5. So what happened here? We came down and we started to do some zigzagging. That's nice. You always want to see, you know, the waves coming in. And when we completed that one here, I said this could be a potential inverted head and shoulders we have right here. Um, the only downside is the angle is, it's not steep, but it is not flat neither. So either. So, but you have it here. We didn't make a new low low here on that right shoulder. We had it there. We came through, blasted higher here, came all the way up to all the way up to that big level, the 2021 highs and the rising wedge for a retest. That's when the big uh, stand is coming, you know, the big retest. We, we we had a kind of a retest here, but it was more pierced through and then broke back down again. So we opened up ex more or less exactly at the 2021 high and that rising wedge. So as mentioned here, I was obviously happy with this day this was a five percent day beautiful but also i said we need to get above here before i am bullish here short term i mentioned that many times we need to get back above and confirm and then 
Friday hit. I want us to zoom in here a bit here on the five minute chart. This is very, very, very short term. So there's a lot of noise going on on the five minute. But anyways, we gapped up and then the pain train started. You can see here, it, it is just relentless selling here. We had a tiny bounce here at the upper green channel here, but no biggie all the way down, small bear flag all the way down. And then actually we started to go sideways here. So basically, not putting in a bottom. We had some short term stuff going on here, but again, it is the five minutes, so who cares, right? It doesn't really matter. So it was just nonstop until, well, basically three hours, you know, for, for like 60, 70% of the day at the start, it was just selling, boom. And again, I read that it was a big firm that unloaded a lot of stuff here. So again, it just felt weird that we have this. That, that good day, obviously, and then just to make a crash here. Usually, you see, usually, it's it's fair enough to get rejected here. I don't mind that. That's totally perfect. But I, I did expect, you know, some sort of bounce here, if not there, at least on the neckline here. But again, it was just straight down. So where does that leave us here for the next week? I want to give you my take on how, what I want to see as a bull, obviously. Um, but also what happens when we start to break these structures, because if we start to, to trade below this uh, 47.2, why is 47.2 important? We can go over here. That is the pivot high over there. And we have some interactions here, and then we have that low there confirming that that level. Very important level, because I think if we start to, to come, come down here, we have the biggest support. It's obviously the triangle fill right there but also we have the big level here at roughly 40. So if we come all the way down there, we are talking about a 20% drop from where we are today. And obviously we don't want that, um, but it, it, it could definitely happen here. Um, so make a drop there Friday, not ideal. We are back in into and below the neckline and this triangle here, this stuff right there, if we start to break down, obviously that's very, very bad. Um, we, you, know my, you know my take on gaps, I hate gaps. Uh, some people don't, I do. We have a gap here that hasn't filled. Um, so I hate when we start to gap up because I know they are getting filled a lot. This is the one hourly, so I don't potentially look at them at all. But on the daily, if we have a gap, I'm um, definitely, definitely um, uh, marking them on the chart so we can see where they are, especially if you look at the ETFs, uh, because that's more important than single stock, even though a single stock, I also think the gaps are important, but not as important as ETFs. So we are now on the 15 minute here. So again, very, very short term. This is not long term weekly charting. This is just very short term what I want to see here. Um, basically, ideally, if we make this a bit bigger, because it is very, very important, that blue here. First off, I think we can, let's just close the gap there, in my view, get that out of the way. And then we we definitely need to hold that blue bottom there because I think if we start to to get below the lower side of this triangle, uh, then we have, there's a very good probability that, that we lose the, the white support here at 47.2, and then we have further downside. So that is one thing to, to, to be worried about here. Also, if I add this one here up, this blue here, I can delete it. This is basically a copy of that one there. So we also have, which I also posted, by the way, on Twitter, that both URA, URNM, and URNJ was, were in bear flags, even though URA was a bit above. So a tight negation. Um, but then fr Friday came, obviously, and we came straight back down. So we have this bear flag here. And if we start to break down there, awfully, that's that's not ideal. Um if I were to give some sort of percentage, I'm, I'm, I think we break down. Um, I really do, based on this alone, because we have so much momentum here coming down on the short term that it, it needs the bulls really need to step back in, hold the blue, get it back back above the green, then we have a chance. Um, the good thing is, I don't know if that has been you know calculated into the uranium sector. Maybe it has, maybe not fully, but we did see. The Congress signed this $2.7 billion uh, bill that will basically, you know, put $2.7 uh, billion into the uranium space in the U.S. 
Um, how much of this has been calculated into the pricing? I have no idea. Um, but again, let's see where we stand. But this again, short term here, I'm getting a bit of afraid that we are still that we need a slight more detour before we go up again here. The the big line in the sand is the bear flag and that low there. Um, so definitely that is what to look for. Again, what do you think? This, it, it as mentioned here, a 5% drop in a day for uranium. We've seen that many a times, both for uranium plus and to the downside. So that's not nothing new, but the way it moved felt unnatural to me. It was basically someone I don't know. It, it, maybe that's just me. Basically, someone just they they just sold because they needed to get out. They just unloaded and unloaded and unloaded in almost into the end of the day. So if that is the case, this is an unnatural move, and we should recover. But hey, we need to see what happens um, Monday, Monday, um, Monday morning U.S. time. Um, but again. I don't, I think that is it. I think that gave you a good coverage of what to expect here again. The land of what's it called pleasure <laughs> is above here still. Uh, we need to get straight back above. You can see here the rejection, the retest, breakdown. So again, we need to get back above here. So ideally we just curl higher and then we break. Uh, but I'd, I would be very surprised if we just spike here within the next two trading days. Uh, the only reason that could happen is, you know, due to this bill that got, you know, signed and all that good stuff here and that it wasn't calculated into the pricing. Then we could definitely see some, some spiky stuff. Um, but yeah, I think if we are to break, we're going to, again, we need one more week. Uh, it's very boring. Yes, I know. But again, we have so much momentum here to the downside that the bulls need to fight, fight big time here. Uh, and undo that that stupid bear flag that we have there. So it took a little, a little bit longer than I initially thought of here. But again, I hope I gave you a a good idea of what I am looking at. Uh, let me know, let me know what you think about Friday's move down. It was weird. Again, yeah, we discussed it, guys. Thank you for tuning in and um, leave a comment. Subscribe, all that good stuff, you know. Um, highly appreciate it from my side. Have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend. It's very important to do. Bye, guys.